Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Daisy, a Filipina, 25 years old and I've been working as a language assistant in Spain for the last five years. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about seven different language assistant programs, two of which I have personal experiences with and then four of which I was accepted to and two other that I know but I've just never applied and later I will tell you why. We're not gonna have a long intro, let's get right to it. The seven programs that I'm gonna be talking about are The Ministry, Beta, Usitam, Medeas, Up International, Converse Spain, and Instituto Franklin Master's Program. If you wanna to apply to any of them, you have the link of their application process below and all the information that you need. And I also added emails so that you can email in case you have any extra questions. For each program, I'm gonna be talking about the kind of school that you're gonna be working with, the pros, the working hours, and your salary who are qualified to apply the requirements, the duration, like how long you can stay with the program and their deadlines. To those who are planning to apply for this following school year, starting this September, 2024 or October, 2024, you should hurry up because some of the application period is gonna be ending soon. First one on the list is the ministry. This is also called NALCAP or North American Language Assistance Program or simply ministry because it's with the Spanish Ministry of Education. So the school that you're gonna be working with for this one are public primary schools and high schools all over Spain, except in Barcelona and some other regions in Spain. Main benefits of this program are you get free breakfast and there are no fees. Among all the seven programs that I'm gonna be talking about, ministry has the best pay. You only work 14 to 16 hours a week. That means most likely only three days like my sister or four days when I was with the ministry and you get paid 800 euros in regions where you only work 14 hours and 1,000 euros for 16 hours a week in Madrid and Valencia. This program is limited to specific countries like people from North America, from Canada, from the Philippines and some other countries. But specifically for this video, I'm gonna be talking about who are qualified to apply for Filipinos. For Filipinos, there are two stages of the application process. It's stage one for partner schools and stage two for the public. And there's also another one which is not part of stage one or stage two, but is also part of the application and that's for qualified private or public school teachers in the Philippines. Here's the list of partner schools in the Philippines with a ministry. So for the stage one application, only those who are from partner schools can apply. You can be either in your last year of university or have graduated in the past five years. It probably depends on your university. Maybe your university still accepts people who have graduated for the last 10 years. But in my university, they only accept people who have graduated for the past five years. Stage two, which is a public application, will only open if there are still slots left after stage one. And fortunately for the past years, it hasn't opened because slots are already filled after the stage one application. During my time, we were only eight applicants in my university. But when my sister applied two years ago, there were 400 of them. So that's how popular this program has become. It's It's gone crazy. During my application with the ministry, we weren't required to have knowledge of Spanish, but now since there's a lot of applicants, I'm trying to be a little bit more strict and I think that's why they added this requirement, which is the A1 certificate. For teachers in the Philippines, you're not yet required, though it's recommended, but those who are applying from partner schools, you are required to have certain hours, I think 126 hours of Spanish or an A1 certificate. If you're studying with Instituto Cervantes, a Spanish school, also apply with a ministry, but you're gonna be required an A2 certificate. A lot of people are wanting to apply and that's also one of the reasons why the ministry limited this stay for Filipinos. Before you can stay up to three years, but now they made it only two years. But you can always just transfer to other programs, which I'm also gonna be talking about. With the ministry, you can stay for two years in Madrid or any other region, except for the Andalucía region. They have nice beaches, the weather's really nice, 
but unfortunately they won't allow renewals anymore starting this school year. So you can only work in a school in Andalusia for one year and then you can transfer to another region. For Americans though, they can stay with the ministry for five years, but you can only stay in Madrid for maximum two years and then after that you're gonna have to move to a different region. But maximum with a ministry would be five years. If you're planning to apply, just chill because you still have time. Their deadline is until April 5. The second program that I'm going to be talking about is the program that I'm with now. And I honestly love this program. I think it's the best program after the ministry. Although you don't get that one day off anymore. So you work five days a week. Still, it's a very good program and they have the highest salary after the ministry. It's free breakfast, free lunch, and you work with concertados or charter schools or semi-private schools and also some schools are private. The best part about this program is that there are no interviews and zero fees. So you just submit your application, wait for them to contact you and that's it. If you're in, you're in. Instead of four days, you're going to be working for five days because the hours available are either 18 hours or 26. If you work 18 hours, you get 900 euros a month. And if you work 26 hours, you get 1,300 euros. For the Usatom program, I believe anyone can apply and there's no age limit. Anyone can apply. You just fill out the application form and then wait for them to contact you. But they do require you to have bachelor's degree. You can stay for two years maximum with the program and the deadline is on March 25. So you guys should hurry up and apply. One thing to note though is that they now have six to seven classes in the whole school year. So that's more or less once a month or like none. Normally we have class once in October and then November, December, none in January, in February and then March and then I believe April and May and that's it. So I either six or seven classes. Tips if you're planning to apply with Usatom, since there's no interview, you need to let them get to know you through that application paper. So there's like a couple pages and you need to pour all your heart and mind and soul into that paper if you want to get in. Since there's not going to be an interview, like they're not going to know like who you are, what kind of person you are. They're only going to know that through your answer. So if you're planning to apply with them, just focus on the application paper. Third program is with Beta, which is probably the next best option after Usatam, I would say. And that's the program that I applied to two years ago, but then I got accepted with Usatam. I actually applied to Usatam, Beta, Up International, and Medeas, and I got accepted to all four of them. But in the end, I chose Usatam because I think it was the best option. And my school assignment was also in the center of Madrid. Normally they throw you like in the in the suburbs and like it takes like at least an hour to commute. But this time when Usatam I get assigned in the center, they do have a lot of um, placements in the center of Madrid. So now I'm working near Retiro, which is very close. So my commute is only like 30, 40 minutes. With beta program, you're gonna be working with private schools. So most of your kids are probably wearing uniforms and they probably are more strict when it comes to how you dress or like how you act. So maybe, I don't know, if you have tattoos, they might ask you to cover up. Advantages with a beta program, the same as Usatam, you get free breakfast, free lunch. But some of my friends said that it depends on the school, that some schools don't have free lunch. Another advantage would be learning Spanish. Their classes, which are also required, they do give you some free Spanish lessons. So if you're trying to improve your Spanish, beta would be a very good option. With beta, you work from 18 to 24 hours. So I think there are options in the middle, like 20 and 22, but normally it's 18 to 24. And as for the salary, you get paid 873 euros before taxes. So that probably goes down to 830 after taxes. That's one advantage. They do pay your taxes and you can get them back at the end of the year. And you also get public insurance. All the programs give you private insurance. So in case you get sick, you can just go to the doctor. If you work 24 hours, you get 1,160 euros per month. The same with Usatam, everyone can apply as long as you have a bachelor's degree. You don't need to have a Spanish certificate or a TEFL certification, but it would be an advantage if you do have one. 
For beta, your requirements would be your bachelor's degree, the application form, a recommendation letter, your CV or your resume, and also 190 euros non-refundable fee. So this one you have to pay once you get accepted to the program. So they will tell you, you got accepted, this is your school assignment. If you want to accept it, then you send us 190 euros. And that's non-refundable, which is not so pricey compared to other programs so i think it's a good deal the best thing about beta though is that you can stay with them for four years they prioritize their existing language assistance so you can stay with them for four years but it's not in the same school it's gonna be two years from one school and then two years will be with another school like usitam you're gonna have classes but i believe some of them are online and some of them are in person but it's double the amount of classes as with usitam so in beta you're gonna need to attend 15 classes and more of those classes will be put or scheduled in the first term and then less will be scheduled for the second half of the term if you're planning to apply with beta you need to hurry up because their deadline is going to be on march 15. your fourth option will be medias i also got accepted with medias so i know a little bit about it but the placement that i got was outside madrid the advantages for being with Medeas is that you get a placement in Barcelona, which most programs don't offer. As far as I know, only Medeas and Up International offer placements in Barcelona. So if Barcelona is the ideal place that you really want to be, then Medeas and Up International are your options. With Medeas, you're going to be working with private schools and contratados or semi-private schools. And you're gonna be working 20 to 24 hours now there are two options you can um, live alone or live with a host family your salaries would differ depending on the option that you take if you're living alone you're gonna get paid 930 euros for 20 hours and 1194 euros for 24 hours however if you decide to live with a host family you're not gonna have to pay rent but your salary will be 409 euros for 20 hours and 724 euros for 24 hours who are qualified to apply for Medeas program this is gonna be a little bit sad for you if you've graduated more than four years ago because you can only apply if you have recently gotten your bachelor's or your master's or your phd degree four years ago with Medeas program you just need to submit your application paper your cv or your resume you're gonna have two interviews with the program and a thing to note is that you're gonna have to pay 850 euros refundable fee so people say um Medeas can be a little bit sketchy about it so if you're like missing schools or like behaving in a way that they don't like they might not give you your deposit back especially if you decide to leave school before the program ends but if you're not gonna be that then you're not gonna have a problem because my friend worked with Medeas like it's the first program that she applied to and she said it was fine she got her deposit back so there you go with the program you can only stay for a maximum two years and i don't really know much about Medeas since i didn't push through my application with them um application deadline it's not stated in their website so i guess you can just apply whenever but it's best to apply now because application period is normally between february until april fifth one is up international i also got accepted into this one but again i canceled because i opted for usetam so at up international you don't need to pay anything but i think the pay is on the low side and that was the main reason why i didn't accept it so i did i first got my acceptance letter from up international so i did my interview with them so you get two interviews first interviews with the program and then they tell you that you're accepted and all that and then after that your second interview would be with the school so i had my second interview with a bilingual coordinator and when we had the interview she was telling me that it's gonna be 26 hours if i remember or 24 but the pay was only 900 euros or 930 compared to usetam if you work the same hours with usetam you get paid 1300 so that's a huge difference and with Usatam, it says 26 hours in the contract, but your actual work is not really 26 hours. My actual work is just like 22 hours or less, somewhere there. Also with Up International, when I did my interview with them, the bilingual coordinator was telling me that 
I also need to spend time um, doing patio duty. So what happens is that during patio time or like their recess period where the kids go play in the playground, normally the teachers um, stay there and like just watch the kids. And that's not something that language assistants do. I don't do that with the ministry. I don't do it with Usatam. But with Up International, they said that I might be asked to do it. It's normally like once a week. But still, basically, you have like a minute to grab breakfast and then you need to be in the patio with the kids. So that's something that I didn't like, which is one reason I didn't push through with the program aside from the low pay. And also another thing is because they told me that I also need to give classes to their teachers. Like it can be like between school or after school, which I didn't really like because I normally have private classes after that. Because what they said was that that was the exchange of having lunch for free. In Usatam, I get lunch for free and I don't pay anything like in any form. But they said in order to have free lunch and free breakfast, I need to do patio duties and also give English classes to their teachers. And English classes, my English classes online normally cost like 20 euros. So in a week, even if it's just once a week, that's 80 euros. And lunch normally just costs 60 euros. And for sure, it wasn't going to be just like one class a week. So I said no. But it's up to you. It's really going to be depending on where you get assigned. So maybe some schools will have better conditions. Some schools are... Mm, so yeah, you can decide based on that. But if you don't mind, then I think Up International would be fine as your first job because it's easy to get into. Sixth program is Converse Spain. So this program is basically like the ministry. You work 14 to 16 hours. You get assigned in other regions except for Barcelona and some others. And you also get paid the same as the ministry, 800 euros for 14 hours and 1,000 euros in Madrid and Valencia for 16 hours. However, for Converse of Spain, you're gonna have to pay a big amount, which is 2,000 euros. But this 2,000 euros, they say include um, application process. I mean, this doesn't include your visa application fee, but the help that they give you throughout the application and also accommodation when you first arrive in Spain, I believe it's accommodation for 10 days and all other assistance and also a TEFL course and certificate. So that's 2000 euros for all that. So with Converse Spain, they have the same duration and everything else with the ministry and their application deadline is end of May or end of June, depending on the region that you're planning to apply to. Last program is Instituto Franklin. So this is basically a master's program and as part of the master's, like your internship, you do get to work like a language assistant, the same as the ministry. So it's basically also a ministry placement with public um, primary schools and high schools, but at the same time you're doing your master's. Now, is this master's valid in Spain? No, it's not. This is master oficial, so it's not acknowledged in, in Spain. It doesn't give you qualification to work in any schools in Spain if that's what you're planning to use a master's on, but if you're planning to use it in the Philippines or in the States, I think it is valid. So everything is basically the same as the ministry, but for this one, you're gonna have to pay tuition since it's a master's. First of all, you have to pay 150 euros non-refundable fee, and then another one is your tuition, but you have three options. So option one would be you work with a ministry, you don't have to pay any tuition, but of course you get paid less something like 800 or less, I suppose, but it's basically the same as paying your tuition, but instead of paying it upfront, you just like pay it with your salary. So they, they deduct it from your monthly salary. Option B would be paying the tuition. And I believe you only need to pay 500 euros initially, like as your deposit, and then the rest you can pay throughout the program, I suppose. And then for option C, I'm not really sure because it's not clear, but I think it's just like not working with the ministry, like just doing the masters. So yeah, there you go. Those are the seven programs that you can apply for if you're planning to work as a language assistant in Spain. I hope I've given you guys all the information that you need. In case you have more questions, you can just write it down in the comments below and hit the subscribe button. And if you have Personal questions, you can just DM me on my Instagram account. You also have the link in the description below. Hasta luego, chicos. Adios.